Hello 3D printing peeps and hello Bamboo P1P owners. I am leaning on the crown jewel of Bamboo Lab printers, the multicolor AMS system. We are going to go ahead and unbox this thing and install it on a Bamboo Lab P1P printer. We are going to look at both the top mount and side mount method. For the top mount, you will need to go to Bamboo Labs Wiki. I will link to it in the description and print these two AMS holders. I printed them in silk purple on a Crowley Ender 3 S1 Plus and they came out just perfect. The first thing that stands out is the box is made of very strong cardboard, much stronger than my Creality printers come in, even the giant Ender 5 Plus. Inside you can see the AMS is comfortably nestled between some serious foam. Got a little bag here with a part, got a little box with some parts, and the AMS itself. Very nice. Pop the tube out of the bag. Break out your box, pop it open, and discover these parts inside. Place them on your table. Don't miss the small stuff. At the time of this recording, there should be six items in the box. To open the AMS, simply grab this tab here and lift up. I found my AMS to be a little stuck, so I grabbed it on the sides and gave it a little pull and got it to relax and open up. Once it opens initially, you'll find that subsequent openings are easy. To lock the AMS, simply put your finger on this tab and push it back. Open the AMS and remove your reusable spools. There are four of them. Then pop the foam off these spools. Once you've removed the foam from each of these spools, you will notice one of these things is not like the other. Three of them are low temp spools. One of them is high temp spool. The high temp spool is gray in color and has writing across the top that says temperature resistance 90 Celsius. And the other three clear spools say temperature resistance 70 C. These spools are meant to be used with Bamboo Lab refill filament where you buy the spool with nothing but a cardboard insert in the center and install it on these blank spools. To do that, you simply grab the spool on one side and the other and twist in opposite directions. Place the new spool over the blank. When installing a filament refill to the reusable spool, mind the notch, make sure the filament refill is clicked into that notch. This magical little chip tells the machine what kind of filament it is. Place the spool back together. Twist both sides together and you have yourself a fresh new roll of filament. Each mount places this way and simply rests along the outer edge of the top of the P1P. To install it, look at the bottom of your PMP and notice these three legs. They will simply slip right into the slots on the bottom of your P1P. You can actually see the legs through the P1P. Do this on both sides until it looks like this. Then, holding the legs in place, slide it over the top of your P1P. Yay! Congratulations, you've top mounted your P1P AMS. However, because I think this is ridiculous and unsafe, I am going to install my PMS on the side of the printer. The first thing I want you to do is look at the Bowden tube right here. You need to pinch this little section right here and pull 
this little piece of Bowden out. Next up is to look right here. We're going to take this guy and stick it right there. Earlier, you opened a little bag with screws in it like this. We're going to take two of them and they're going to go here and here. Place the piece, clip first, rest it in place. Take one screw and slip it in each side. It is common practice for an accessory to come with the proper Allen key in the 3D printing world, but Bamboo did not include one. So find one that fits or use a fancy cheap tool like this and gently screw these into place. I say gently because this is plastic and if you crack it, you're not accomplishing anything. And there you go. Next up, we're going to run a tube from here to here. Take this tube right here and pinch off this coupler. We will feed one end of the tube in here. It goes in quite a ways and then locks into place. And the other end up in here. And that locks into place. Next up, we will take the tube coming out of your AMS and feed it into the other side. Just gently push it in, you'll feel a little clip and it's done. We now have a path from the AMS to the machine to the hot end. The next thing we're gonna do is power up the AMS and we're gonna do that through a similar chain of cables. In your kit, you will find two wires. One is short and one is long. We will start with the short cable. It goes right there. Take this piece right here, turn it this way, and just fit it gently into that port. Then peek underneath and you'll see another hidden connection. We'll take the other end of that wire, face it this way, and feed it gently up into that slot. And hear it click into place. Take this wire, feed it gently up, and push it in to this clip right here. And this is what your final run looks like. Finally, we need to connect this to the AMS and we're going to do that via a port on the side. It's right there, both sides of the cable are exactly the same, so pick one and gently work this cable into that connection. You will hear a gentle click. Moving down to the back of the AMS, you will see the same connection. Take the other end of the wire and simply guide it in gently and push till you hear the click. And there it is, we've attached the AMS to the Bamboo Lab P1P. Let's turn it on, make sure the machine detects it, and check the firmware. And look at that, a firmware update popped up. It is an AMS update, so we will go ahead and run that. Press confirm. And we'll just back out to the main menu. Looking at your screen, you'll notice a new icon. It says AMS. Your AMS is installed, recognized by the P1P, and the firmware has been updated. And there it is. The P1P detects the AMS. The firmware was updated, and the AMS is standing by with its blinky lights, ready for use. You're on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel, I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com, and installing the automatic material system on a Bamboo Lab P1P was today's adventure.